Hey guys, are you wondering how to get your Mac to run faster? Let me show you how I do it. First, I go to the following website. It's duplicatefilesoftware.com. Now when I get to duplicatefilesoftware.com, there's all types of information for making your Mac faster. For example, the latest article was about a fan that wasn't working or a battery that wasn't charging or other CPU problems. And there's lots of stuff like that on this site. But for this video, I'm just going to show you the software that I choose to use. It's right here, Tidy Up. You can click the box right there or the link, and it's going to take you to the Tidy Up page. On the Tidy Up page, you're going to see all of the features that this software has. I'm not going to waste your time going over all of them, but you can go to this site at your own leisure. You're then going to click Download Now. And I'm going to cancel this just because I've already downloaded the software. And this is what the software looks like when it opens. Software opens, you see all different types of things you can search for that Tidy Up has already organized for you, like image searches, music searches, applications, and all other files and packages. There's also an advanced mode. If you want to use the advanced mode, you can get way further detailed of the type of thing that you're looking for. But for my basic needs, I choose basic mode. So here you choose which drive you want to scan. And you can select and add whatever folders you want. But in my experience, I like to just choose the hard drive. I then, for this example, will choose music. I'm going to search for all kinds of duplicate music files. I'm going to hit search. It's going to search 38,430 files that are on my computer. We're just going to let it do its thing, and it was done very quickly. In this window, we see the duplicate items, and you can organize them by list or by icons. I search by list and show the results by list. Now, what's really cool is on the left, you can show all items found, an item of each duplicate, or all but one item of each duplicate group. So what that means is you just click this selection here, and it will get rid of all but one of the item. But let's just go to the all items found. So if you go to all items found, you can see I have two copies of the same track, even though the titles are different. Um, and I also can see where each item is being kept. So one was in a general file, and one is in a file that is um, specific. Another cool thing is that you can hit play here, and then you can preview what the sound is. For our purposes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at all these items really quickly, or just a few of them, and what I'm going to do is a really cool little trick. So let's say I have these two copies, right? One is in this folder, and the other one is in this folder called Downloaded Tunes. What you can do is select the file that's in the folder that you want to get rid of. So let's say we want to get rid of the, all the duplicates that are in this general Downloaded Tunes folder. I'm going to right-click it. And then I'm going to say new basket with the selections parent folder. What that's going to do is it's going to take all the MP3s that are in that folder that are duplicates and it's going to organize them and put them in here for me. So I'm going to select all and there it is, 646.75 megabytes of space that I'm using with duplicate music files. So obviously we don't need that. And you can do a lot of different things with the duplicates. Show, hide, modify, delete burn to a CD, move and copy, for example, to a USB drive, trash it straight to the recycle bin, or export an HTML file with all the titles of these duplicates. So what I'm going to do is just trash it right here from within the program. Contents of select basket, report empty folder, sure, why not, hit continue, and boom. This is the empty folder, doesn't have any more duplicates in it, and here we go the files are all gone. They're all in my trash. Now if, if I made a mistake I can go back and get these files back but I just cleaned out 645 megabytes of space really quickly and now I can use those for something much better. Thanks for watching guys. I hope it helped.